Hi guys, in this short video I will show you how to upgrade the firmware, the software on board of your Smart Key controller. This feature is useful and powerful because it allows you to correct any, any bugs or any problems and uh, moreover allows you to introduce uh, the new features that are developed in the application software. In order to do this, we have to transfer the new software, an executable file, from your computer to the smart pit using the USB connection. First of all, you have to download the last software version on your PC, either a Windows PC or a Mac or a Linux, and then connect the smart pit to the to the PC, the desktop or the laptop using a USB data cable. It's important that the cable is really a data cable. There are a lot of uh, cables that are just for uh, power and recharge the smartphone have no data capability. Connect your data cable to the USB on the PC and then do this simple operation. Just press the start stop button and keep it pressed and then plug the USB cable in the front USB socket. As you can see the screen start blinking black and white. This means that we have entered a bootloader mode that allows you to transfer the file to the smart pin controller. On the PC you should have now a mass storage device called SmartBit. Let's move to the PC to see how to transfer the file. We are now on the PC computer and as you can see we have a drive, a storage, mass storage device mapped on the desktop file system. It's called SmartBit. If you look inside, there is a file that is called the flash.bin, that is the executable file. We have to replace this with the new software. Go to the sparpy.com website, wiki page, and go to the software release section. Here you have all the last software release version. The software releases are organized according to applications, Smart Home Brewing, Smart and Mustard and Barbecue. So scrolling down, you see all the application, the software release, the date and the release notes with all the changes. Since I'm upgrading a thermostat, a smart thermostat, let's go to there. Smart Barbecue, here it is, here is the last one, 18th of May, it's the version 0.5.11 the release note and here the executable file in a compressed format. Just save this file. I, have, I save on the desktop. I've created a, a specific folder. Download and save. I go to the Explorer desktop. I open my file. Is a zipped file, so we have to unzip first. The compress extract here it is this is the name of the file with the version just rename in flash.bin now we have to substitute the old file with the new one just copy it I go to the smart driver delete the old file and paste the new one. Here it is. Now, last operation, you have to safely remove the drive. Go here and eject the smart bit. So, that's all. It's very simple, very easy. Just uh, plug the controller and remove and replace the executable file. Now let's go to SmartBit again and see 
if the upgrade has been successful. After the safe remove, we can just power on normally the smart pit. I do through the USB front socket. Now the smart pit boot regularly, and here you see the new version 0.5.11. Just for more safety, I go to the info menu, and here you can clearly see that we have upgraded the software. To the last version. So again everything is very simple. Let's summarize the operation. Download first from the wiki page the last software version and unzip on your desktop. Then connect smart pit keeping pressed the start stop button so you can map the controller as a USB mass storage device and replace the flash.bin executable file, perform the safe removal and uh, that's all. And you have simply upgraded the software to the last version. Thank you for your attention. Hope this tutorial is useful for you.